Did you know that your Razor products have a one year expiration date? That's the same lifespan as my beef jerky. I love me some beef jerky. I'm James Stride and this is Tech Linked. Yes, after one year you will lose your warranty. You also lose access to updates. As well, you'll see bugs such as HDR mode making your camera fuzzy or your mouse randomly disconnecting. The only chance you have to save your product is to factory reset it. Or better yet, throw it in the garbage and buy a new one. Then in the landfill, your Razor mouse can become a nice home for an earthworm. That's Razor, always looking out for the little guy. This falls right in line with their hashtag go green with Razor plan to create a sustainable future. Isn't spending $300 every year for a mediocre webcam worth saving the environment? Elon Musty is going big brain with his rebranding of Twitter. He is auctioning off all Twitter memorabilia, including the building signs. After purchasing your very own piece of Twitter, you'll be responsible for the cost of removing the sign from the building. If this works, Elon will finally see some profits from his new company. And when everyone stops using X, phase two goes into effect. Stealing everyone's underpants. Phase three, more profit. Virgin Galactic is finally penetrating the upper atmosphere and selling flights to space. Starting at $250,000, you too can experience four exquisite minutes of pure ecstasy just before saying to yourself, that was it? It was five. And for $450,000, you can get a window seat. Samsung is now offering the foldable experience for iPhone users. First, you need to buy a second iPhone. Then get some duct tape and attach them together. Through their app, you can now experience what it's like to read a tiny book in public. For some reason, the app is not available in the App Store. You will have to scan the QR code on their website, and from there, the app will run through your Safari browser. I can't believe Apple would be against selling more iPhones. Sounds like a win to me. That's your tech link for the week. Hopefully, I don't see you again next week.